Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I'm coming to you. I'm going to do a double dip on um, alfoil. Alfoil, we call it here in Australia. I don't know where they call it in Europe or um, US, but we call it alfoil. So I'm going to do a double dip on alfoil. I have done this quite a few times before. It seems to create a nice bit of texture on your um, your dips as long as your paint is a little bit thicker I've found. So I've just got to check all the consistencies. I've got my alfoil and I've, I've scrunkled it all up so it gets these lovely shapes, lovely effects in it. Oops, goodness me, I'm um, going a bit AWOL here. So that will be enough for me to dip my canvas on like that so I'm going to do two of these 20 by 25 canvases and I'm going to dip them on this sprinkled up alfoil I find it better to um, ah, stick the alfoil down which I should have done before I'd got gloves on because it's a silly jilly the um, tape is going to stick to my gloves isn't it so yeah <laughs> I, I seem to do things the difficult way but never mind just go with it no biggie so just going to put a bit there it's just a, uh, when I lift the canvas up off the alfoil that the canvas uh, the alfoil doesn't lift up with it just you know I've done it both ways without but that's where my main work's going to be, is in there. And this crinkles in the alfoil. Like, yeah, that's good. So, on, on, on. What I'm going to do first of all, is I'm going to give these two canvases a coat of paint. So they've already got nice sticky surface. So I'm just going to do them with white. But I really want to keep this minimalistic so I don't want many colours on at all so I'm going to just whiz around the canvas with this nice little sponge brush it does it really easily oops a days and does it really quickly and easily don't really need uh, you know a great big amount of paint I just want to really make it a sticky surface I guess I've probably put too much on that as you do as I do but that's that's okay okay and the second one so just take this time when you're doing these kind of the boring preparation bits to just relax and enjoy because this is some of the nicest therapeutic stuff is just um, coating your canvases I find so there you go that's coated nicely doesn't have to be anything perfect just nicely coated it maybe could have even been a little bit thicker paint than that because I find with dips that the thicker the paint the better it seems to um, work so I just want to sort of get an idea of where my canvas is going to come to so it's easy to just use a texture it's just so I don't run paint everywhere that I don't need it so just run a texture so it gives me a guide to put my paint in that um, area but I'm actually gonna hopefully leave a little bit of negative space so I don't want too much in there I'm gonna start off with this navy I'm gonna just do some squiggles over it so I usually do my chevrons when I'm doing dips but I'm going to try putting both in here so I'm going to put some squiggles like I said I'm not worried if I've, um, I want some negative space left so it doesn't have to fill the hole okay and then I will go with the little bit of whites that I've got left squiggly squiggly like I said, I won't be putting too many colours into this one. I've done a lot of um, 
dips and they've been really bright and loud which I love but let's see if I can do some um, some more kind of classical colour so this is my berry delicious but of course I want to put something into this that will make it pop because they're all very dull at the moment so I'll go back to my gold so I'm going to put a nice gold and I will put the gold in the V's or just in the chevrons I don't think it particularly will matter with this but if the paint is too thin that's when I get a bad result um, I get um, it goes it, it the colors mushing definitely thicker paints for dips I'm gonna put this turquoise oh wow okay that's that's um, a bit too much and I really do think this paint is too thin but you know I've started so I'll continue and we'll see what we get we'll just see what we get if it if it goes to pot and is no good then it, you know I'll just go to plan B and try something else so you get your little canvas and I'm gonna just pop it on there so where you've put all of that paint and of course you can do it on a much bigger canvas than this I've been doing done it on bigger canvases before so it's just push it down and then just push just nice and gently so your canvas gets picks up some of that color underneath and hopefully gives us a really nice effect any areas that may be missing I can always work that out oh wow 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 and wow that is beautiful look at that looky looky okay I'm happy happy Jan so on with the next one but it needs a little bit more color in there so I will do the same again I'll squiggle my white so if you can do several of this size and put them all together whether it be in a frame or whatever they they're just beautiful they look really effective together I'll show you one that I've put together for a friend I've just got to finish coating it but I want to show it to you so, so I've just got a bit of that nice navy blue left that's sort of mostly claret and blue and white isn't it but, um, good squirt of the old gold let's try and put a little bit more gold in this one and oh, a little bit more turquoise and of course a good blobs of white see so it doesn't really matter you can just go to town you can just let your creative juices go and hopefully get something out let's try the second one radio give this a go and because the canvas is already coated it doesn't it won't you know if it leaves any bits unleft then there's already paint on your canvas but like I said learn from my mistakes that I quite often make when I'm doing this is to work with thicker paints for dips and you get far nicer results you really do so this was definitely on the thin side so I'm just lucky that I got some nice results so just hold the breath Ooh, that one's beautiful too I'm happy Jen hang on I'll bring them over to show you there you go look at that looky looky so they're really lovely the colors turn them around it might be so that's um dipping on glad wrap I'm gonna whiz over with my heat one these are called heat embossing ones they were I think they're used for card making but you'll find them in a craft section or uh, I've got a link underneath my videos for them 
Um, I know people have asked me what I'm using. So that's a heat wand. This one is just a miniature hair dryer that blows the paint. But this one will get rid of air bubbles and br help bring up some nice effects in the cells. It's not too many cells in there and that is absolutely fine. And it is lovely just as it is. But as I love working and adding a little bit more movement, I've got a balloon here that's just got a little bit of water in it, adds a bit of weight. You don't have to have, but I just find it's easier to work with and I just, just put some different little, not many, this one's just going to have some nice little effects in here. Doesn't really need it, does it? But. I love doing it so remember it's your art your rules your way so these are balloon kisses little balloon kisses you do not have to do the balloon kisses of course you can um, you know acrylic artists are there on YouTube to show you ideas you don't have to do the same as them you just take what you want from their ideas and um, create your own so there you go I'm really really happy with that I want to just show you some dips that I did for a friend that would were, were going there are going into a um, frame so this these are yet they, they'll go into this frame properly I am just I am just um, going to put a nice gloss coating on them and then they'll I'll fix the back of the frame up so it's just white at the back and then they're going in this frame together so that's just dipping um, and a few balloon kisses so that was a really pretty one but the colors will really pop on that when I uh, give it either a resin coat or a nice gloss coat so I just want to thank you guys for joining me again today and you know if you're not that much into art Anyone can do this and it really is art therapy it's so um, it's rewarding sometimes it can be frustrating but mostly rewarding so give it a go if you haven't tried it and if you have then you know continue enjoying it until tomorrow my lovelies a video out every day if you haven't subscribed please do so it's absolutely free and it helps me so until tomorrow my lovelies that's my um, dipping on uh, aluminium foil.